The Admiralty of Kulturos is a very important and prominent human kingdom. They once served with the other human nations against the Orcish Horde in the Second War. They hold the world's most powerful navy, especially after the Battle of the Tsar Lore, and are now official members of the Grand Alliance. But a question might come to mind. If, if they joined and aided the Alliance during the Second War, how is it that they're now joining the Alliance in BFA? Is this some sort of plot hole? When did they leave? Why did they leave, most importantly? So, why did Kulturas leave the Alliance? Well, here's the thing. They really didn't leave or join the Alliance. Kulturas was a member of the Alliance of Lordaeron who went defunct after the Second War for various different reasons that I've talked about in a, in a different video, and the Grand Alliance we know today didn't come around until the end of the Third War, and by the end of the Third War, Kulturas wanted nothing to do with the other kingdoms on the mainland. This is because, and this is very simple, the lack of response by Stormwind and others to avenge the death of their Lord Admiral, Lord Admiral Dalen Proudmoore, who perished while trying to eradicate the Horde from Kalimdor and to quote-unquote save, in quotes, his daughter. So. When the Colterians didn't get a response, they simply shut their ports, barred their holdings, and played isolationist for many, many years. But it wasn't the Alliance and the new King of Stormwind they hated. They instead turned their hatred on their forsaken daughter, who didn't act when she should have to save her father. And as we know, Jaina would receive tons and tons of gripe with her people until Battle for Azeroth, where she is saved by us. Uh, promoted to Lord Admiral for saving her people and freeing their fleet, and officially joined the Grand Alliance of today. At this point, I'd usually ask what you think about the topic, but this one was pretty straightforward, so I don't really need to do that, so instead, I'll ask. If you have any questions, comments, and concerns regarding this video, WoW, or its lore, please be sure to leave each and every one of them in the comments down below, and I'll be sure to read them. Thanks for watching.